everything's good it was a kind of a, a strange one this weekend when the news came through about Alex Ferguson Eamon because um, he had looked so healthy and so well only as as recently as last weekend when he was uh, paying tribute to Arsene Wenger and I suppose yeah. it just goes to show you that life has a funny way of coming at you without any kind of prior notice he, he looked very very healthy the other day he did and he's always been a robust character um, and you know people are very sad and shocked uh, but he's a fighter, you know, and I think in the situation he's in, uh, that will, you know, be in his favour. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, it very much has the will, power, and uh, we we'll just hope that, that he's going to be okay. He's been a mass- massive figure in the game, and uh, I think all the tributes paid to him and all the sadness expressed by people like Ronaldo and, well, almost everybody in the game, uh, they're sincerely felt. So it's, we hope that he'll be back um, and robust and well. Just goes to show you, Alan, like you never know what's around the corner, do you? Yeah, I couldn't believe you, Hugh. I was out at a match Friday and when this, or Saturday evening when the news came through and... Um, yeah, it's one of them. Like he, I always see Ferguson. He was he was the best manager that I've ever kind of seen over the years, and loved him, and always admired him, and respected him. And he almost had this infallibility about him that you think he's invincible because his teams were and and the way he managed. Um, and it was really really sad news. And hopefully, from what I'm hearing from the report, surgery went very well. So hopefully, he pulls through. But it was very very sad news. It was um, okay.